Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to copy and paste in the music software Audacity. I will also show you how to cut an audio selection as well as silencing and trimming. Let's get started. So you'll wanna have Audacity open and I have a audio selection here that I'm working on. Now in order to insert audio in Audacity, what you need to do is go up to file and then import and then just click on audio and then you choose the audio recording that you would like to insert and I'm going to choose that one and press open and then you can see it actually inserted it again. So now I've got two different tracks of the same audio that I'm working on. So now in order to copy and paste, what you want to do is click on the portion of the music that you would like to copy. So let's say this middle section here and a lot of the line will show up there uh, where you would like to start selecting and you're going to click left click on that line and then just drag over to uh, the part of the selection where you would like to end it, then let go. And then what you go up to is uh, this icon right here where it says copy. And so you click on that. You also can do control C. And then one other place that you can find it is up in edit and copy. So all of those work. So now I've got it copied. And then you can go ahead and insert it where you would like. Let's say I want to insert it at this moment right here. I can uh, go ahead and get the uh, selector uh, right where I like it and then go up here to the clipboard and press paste. You could also uh, click control V to paste. So that's the easiest way to copy and paste. Now this works in between tracks too. So let's say I wanted this uh, second track to be copied at the end up here. What I could do is go to the beginning and then select there and then go ahead and drag to where I would like this selection to end. And once I have it highlighted like that, do the same process, um, can, uh, copy, and then I will go up to the moment where I'd like it to begin in the other track, and then I can click on paste. So you can see that worked. And anytime you would like to undo anything, you can do Control Z, will undo, or you can go up to edit, and you can do undo, and that will undo your last action. Let's say you want to keep the timing the same, but you want to silence certain parts of the audio. What you can do is go ahead and left click and then find your selection. And then up here at this option where it says silence audio selection, and then it will keep the timing for everything else, but that portion that you selected, it will uh, create silence there. And so that's one way you can do silence to keep the, the beat the same. Uh, again, I'm going to undo that. Uh, now, if you would like to cut something, now if let's say I, I wanted a portion and I wanted this to be uh, deleted and then inserted somewhere else, what I can do is the cut uh, uh, icon here. So I'm going to click that. It's also a control X. And now it deleted it, but also I have it uh, copied on my uh, keyboard. And now I'm going to press control V or you can press the uh, paste right there. And now I was able to paste it in that other place that I wanted it. Anytime that you would like to delete something, um, let's say I had that section and I just want to delete it, I didn't want to copy it, just have it selected, and then go ahead and just press delete on your keyboard and that will delete it and will move the time accordingly. Now let's say you would like to have just a certain part of your audio retained, but the rest of it you would like to delete or turn into silence then you could select that portion and then go up here to trim audio and it will only keep that portion of the audio you select. So I'm gonna click that. And so it kept that portion. And again, if I would like to move that in, let's say I want to move it back to the beginning of the piece, what I can do is uh, have it highlighted and then click on the time shift tool. And then once I have that selected, I can then move that around. And again, the best way to copy an entire audio track or audio file is to just go up to file and then import it again. And then you'll have two tracks and then you can work with both of them. Um, again, doing the copy and paste that we did before. And you can do use the time shift tool on each track to line them up the way you would like them to be lined up. If you want to become pretty skilled at using the controls, you can go over to the edit tab here and you can see all the control buttons you can use. So the time shift is control Z, control X is cut, control K is delete, Control C is copy, Control V is paste, and then Control D is duplicate. And so those are all the ones that you probably will be using pretty often. And so it might be good to memorize those so you can use them in uh, when you're editing your music. So you now know how to copy and paste in Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I will put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.